Question six. We haven't been given the angle this time. We've been given the sine of the angle. We've seen these a few times before. Um, you could just find out what the angle is, or you could use uh, a little triangle there. The opposite over hypotenuse is four fifths, and so this little bit is three here. So when I start going at 24 meters per second at the angle theta here, over here I've got 24 sine theta, and over here I've got 24 cos theta. So 24 times by 4 fifths, that's 19.2, and 24 times by 3 fifths, that is 14.4. Um, usual thing then, it's going to go up and go all the way down again. We want to know how long it takes to get to here. So I've got in the upwards direction, we've got u is, we've just written that down there, 19.2. V, I don't know. A is minus 9.8. T, that's what I'm trying to find. And S, well this is interesting, isn't it? At this point here, the distance vertically it is, is actually zero. We want it back where it started, so we want S equals zero here. The formula we use is s equals ut plus a half at squared. We're putting in 0 equals 19.2t. A half times 9.8, it's 4.9t squared. So we've got a little quadratic here. We've got two answers here. t equals 0 is one answer. And of course, that's where you started. We don't want that one. The one we want is the other one, which is t equals 3.918 or 3.9 seconds to two significant figures. For part B, we're just asked, well, what's the distance you're traveling there? So now we're going to go in the horizontal direction. We know horizontally we were starting at 14.4 meters per second. We know we're going for 3.9 seconds. And so that is 56.4 or 56 meters is the range of the flight.